Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. Today I've got a nice clean video of our mystery card project for you. If you don't know, we play Coffee and a Mystery Card every other Thursday in the Craft Social. The link is below the video. Check it out. Um, we do a fun mystery card project. Sometimes it's not a card every other week. And this is the one that we're walking you through today. It's a money holder or a check holder. I think it is the season with graduations and weddings coming. So this is what we're going to make. And we're featuring the Celebrate Sunflowers bundle, which is on sale for an extra 10% off. So when you bundle Celebrate Sunflowers with the Sunflower dies, you save 10%. And then Stampin' Up! is doing an extra 10% during the month of March. All right, so that's it. We're going to use our greeting congratulations from Happy and Heartfelt. And let's get started. I've got Knight of Navy cardstock for my base of my money holder. And this is six and three quarters by seven inches. The measurements will be on the printable project sheet. All right, let's get this Simply Scored tool in here and pop this in on the seven inch side. We're gonna score at two inches and at five inches. Super simple money card or check card holder. We're gonna work both of these scores with a bone folder. And then add some designer series paper and close the pocket. My designer series papers are from two different packs. This one's from the Sweet Symmetry designer series paper. We're gonna put that on the top flap, just centered with liquid glue. Got my second piece of designer series paper from the Beauty of the Earth designer series paper pack. Now these papers are retiring. If you haven't seen the last chance list, you wanna check it out. Um, they are available while supplies last. And the mixing of the designer series paper packs, I think is one of the things that makes this project so successful. I have to say, it's my downline and team member, Rebecca, who has really been encouraging me. She uses the designer series papers, mix and match from Stampin' Up. She never stays inside the pack. So um, it's been really an inspiration. With Stampin' Up, it's so easy to mix and match the different packs of designer series paper because the core colors are all consistent. So just really cool thing. And the craft social is really forcing me to to grow and to um, identify places where my creativity is like stuck in the box or stuck in the pack so here it is the two designer series papers and look at how cool they coordinate isn't that awesome all right so we're gonna go ahead and um, do some stamping or some die cutting right now using the sunflowers dies um, the Sunflowers Dies is a nine-piece set. And there's a couple of things that I'm not using. The little imaged, or the little line die to cut out the small sunflower image and the leaves. There's cool skeleton leaf and then another sprig. We're going to do a sprig from Just Jade. And then we're going to do the background of our flower from Bumblebee. Let's get the stamp and cut and emboss machine in here. The center of our flower from Soft Suede. So you need some scraps. And then we're going to do the detail of our sunflower using the Sweet Symmetry Designer Series paper. Now, I love this paper. I love both sides of this paper. It's almost hard for me to sacrifice this um, chevron side. I love this technique. <laughs> like you've got a paper where you're like, mm, that's not my favorite one. Um, especially if it's busy with different colors, this technique is awesome for using up larger chunks of papers that you just don't love. We're going to take our uh, multicolor paper and I've got a three and a half inch square. It works perfect for this die. And we're going to add some adhesive to the back. This is the adhesive sheets. And I'm just going to line up and then peel away the excess. Now we've got self-adhesive multicolor designer series paper, and we're going to cut those details right out of that piece. So let's go ahead and get our machine in here. You know what? Before I pull my machine in, let's do a quick bit of stamping because then we can run one more um, die through the machine at the same time. I've got Just Jade scraps, Just Jade ink, and the larger leaf from 
from Celebrate Sunflowers, and we need three of these. And I have one by the magic of television already done. It was in my um, my little graveyard. I like to do when I'm working with a set. I have extra pieces after I've done a project. I put them in an envelope. This is the package from the dimensionals. I just put them in the envelope. It's self-adhesive. And this is my little graveyard of pieces that I can pick from when I'm working on the next project. So it's a good way to keep your extras and your bits stored in a way that you'll actually use them in the future. All right, Stamp and Cut and a Boss Machine, set up for die cutting. We've got one, two, and three. We're gonna pop as many of these bits on as we can. It's still gonna require three passes because we have to cut out three of these leaves, but we're gonna do it as efficiently as possible. No more than three passes. All right, what else do we wanna put on this pass? We can do our little flower center this time. I love the little pierced detail on the center of the flower center. Do you see that? Let's pop out the rest of these bits and reset for another pass. Now on this pass, we've got our sunflower and it's got that self-adhesive details. Now, if you wanted to do something really crazy with this, you could take these pieces and before you just jangle them all out, you could take a solid cardstock line and then put each of these self-adhesive pieces back in kind of like an inlay technique. So if you're going to do this technique, think about how you could make the most of all these parts. So we'd take that out. You'd have say a navy, knight of navy, one cut for the outline. And then you take each petal out and pick and stick into the navy outline. So you'd get two flowers for one with very cool, um, with very cool effects. So just something to think about if you're gonna try this project. I am um, gonna just weed it all out and get ready to peel and stick my two layers. But if you weeded it in a very organized manner, you get a second card with a really cool technique and you wouldn't waste all that beautiful designer series paper. Now, once you've got most of the pieces kind of jangled out, you can go ahead and just roll your thumb against the edge of the adhesive and peel the backing. You'll see that a lot of those pieces, if anything was giving you trouble on the weeding process, if you just roll along, you'll be able to finish the weeding process very quickly and simply. Now we're gonna find some landmarks and line this up with its background. I like to find these petals that curve. Do you see how these curve back? Then I'll rotate this until I find those same petals that curve back. They're very distinct, that's your landmark. You're gonna line up that landmark and then once you've got that landmark lined up, everything else should pretty simply just flow together with peel and stick. That's how easy that is. We're going to take a dimensional, put it on the center and pop that up. Don't forget to get your in symmetry designer series paper with the in colors, the retiring in colors, the just jade, the bumblebee, all those things will sell out very quickly. Once the retirement list is announced, that's how that goes. Now, ahead of time, I cut a tag. It's a large tag from the Tailored Tags. I used Crumb Cake cardstock. Let me show you that die set. So this is the Tailor Made Tags dies, and we're doing the very largest of the clip corner. It's also got these beautiful bracket corner or bracket top tags too. Linen thread. We're going to make our decorated tag here. I'm going to run the linen thread through and tie a nice loopy bow. This is a gift. Um, this money or check envelope is a gift, so I was like a little bit of extra um, ears and tails on a, on a gift. A big bow makes a nice gift, doesn't it? So be generous with your linen thread. Cut away the excess. Now, um, I like 
for a gift like this where it doesn't necessarily go in an envelope. It's maybe not going to go in the post office. This is something that you might present just as it is at an in-person event. Um, so I'm going to double, triple dimensional this. If you're going to mail this, you might want to keep your dimensionals down to a low roar. But because I'm thinking that this is a more of a presentation type of a, a gift, I'm going to put some dimensionals right along the bottom of the top flap and then right at the top of my tag. That way I know that my adhesive is securely on the flap and I didn't glue my money holder closed. Now I'm gonna center a little bit right of center my tag, top to bottom center, a little bit right of center because of those sprigs that are gonna hang off the one side will go just a little bit off center right to left. And once you've got that, this is optional. I put a little Velcro closer just to hold that closed. And I get these Velcro dots on Amazon. I've shared the link quite a few times, but I'll put it underneath the video and um, in the blog post if you're looking for them. I get them on Amazon and they have six packs of 56 and it's in stock alternately. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. But I buy the six packs of 56, so I always have them on hand, and it's a good price for so many closers. Now, I wanna put this on my tag in the center, and then remove the sticky from the other side. Then I'll close the envelope and burnish, and then open it up and burnish each piece separately. And I like to have the clear piece on the bottom here because that check or the money is gonna draw the eye and this rough side is more clear than the fuzzy side. So I put the fuzzy side on top. Just a little method to madness. Now our sunflower can go on with dimensionals also. And again, here you're gonna be careful that you don't go past the edges of the tag and leave a little space to tuck your leaves under. So I'm gonna do that same kind of top bottom and then bring the flower to the adhesive. And now my leaves, I'm gonna do a little mini dimensional on the base of each of the leaves. So kind of at the stem there, they're all sticky and we'll just tuck them in. Two on one side, one on the other. And our sprig, let's add that with some liquid glue. Do the liquid glue on the bottom four leaves. All right, a little dab will do here, and they're going to hang out past the tag, so be careful where you place your glue. Slide them in and burnish them down under the flower. So cute. Now all that's left is our sentiment. we got a piece of basic white scrap here. It's one half by about two and five eighths. My congratulations greeting in Night of Navy ink. And stamp that right on the center. All right, let's clear the ink pad away before I stick the project in. If you haven't seen already, newsletter subscribers already got the list. I'll put the um, last chance list on the blog today. The tailored tag punch is retiring. I always said I didn't know what I'd do when it retires, and I will continue to use it for dovetails. There is no tool that works as well for chicken lips as this tailored tag punch. So get that one while you still can if you haven't already. If you haven't already, if I haven't convinced you in the years that I've been using it for chicken lips, <laughs> then you probably won't be convinced. But check it out if it's still available. It's a really cute, it's a really cool shape, but it's also the best tool I've ever had for getting nice even dovetails. Now on our congratulations banner, we're gonna put uh, dimensionals. But for this last dimensional, it's gonna go over the um, center of the flower just a little bit, so make sure you go real low, maybe even a half a dimensional real low. These little minis come in handy for spaces like this. We're gonna double, triple, but we don't want it to be double on one side and triple on the other, you know what I mean? So then we'll place our congratulations. And there is our awesome money holder. All right, you guys, if you have any questions about the last chance list to the spring into savings sale, if there's 
anything I can do to help you stay crafty, email marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. If you want to be a part of our fun and games, like our weekly mystery card where we make fun projects like this, check out the Kitchen Table Stamper Craft Social. It's our Facebook group below the video. And a shop Stampin' Up 24-7, buzz over to marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.